So you're looking to get better website conversions for your website, but you're not sure what to do or how to go about it. In this video, I'm gonna share my top strategies to help you optimize your website for better conversions. The biggest mistake I've seen with most small business owners is that they view their website as a brochure and not as a sales tool. Your website should be viewed as your most important sales tool that not only gets traffic, but converts that traffic into paying customers. First off, personalize your website. Nowadays, in order to build that no like, and trust factor to get customers quicker, you need to be authentic and you need to be you on your website. The more real you are, the better you'll be in the long run. Write some sort of personal message about maybe your mission or your goals that shows some life behind the brand and have that on your website. One hidden trick that is really, really powerful is after somebody submits a contact form, have a page that says clearly who is going to contact you. Strategy number two is to have one strong call to action. I found that most small business owners are terrified to tell their customers what to do on their website. For my brand, it was tricky because I have people all across their journey of web design from starting out to being more advanced. So. I had to figure out what call to action would best suit them. My metric for figuring out my top call to action is what makes the biggest impact for all of my customers and it's my courses. If you're having trouble figuring out what your call to action is, because sometimes you may have a few different calls to actions, just pick your primary one. You know what you would prefer people to do on your website create a very intentional journey for your different customer types. I realized that I had a big problem on my website when it came to this creating a proper journey. I had people who were essentially just learning web design. I had people who were starting and growing their web design business. And then I had people who already had a web design business and wanted to scale it. So what I learned to do was to create a funnel on the homepage of my website that met those three customer types where they are, then they can click into each one of those pages depending on where they are, and then that has the proper information to help them decide what resource is best, is best for them, et cetera. So the more you can just add a little bit of a teaser to help multiple people and then guide them to the rest of the information, you're gonna get better conversions all around on your website. And then finally, strategy number four is for online reviews and testimonials. There's a lot of different places and ways that you can utilize testimonials and reviews. What I've found work best is to have generalized testimonials on your homepage. Ideally, if you have an image that accompanies the text, that's gonna go way further than just a block of text. Then you can have detailed testimonials and reviews for certain products or services that are more specific to that product. Additionally, you can have a more results and solutions oriented approach by creating case studies. So you can take an existing client, look at what challenge they had before they worked with you, how you solved that challenge, and look at the results that you got them maybe a few weeks or a few months later. If I could give you one final sum up thought on all of this, it would be to be you. Don't hide behind your brand. Don't be something you're not. People nowadays want to work with somebody they know, like, and trust, whether that's a one-person business or a 100-person business. Get your brand, your mission, your vision, get it on your website. And then with all these tactics we've gone over so far, that is gonna help you boost your website conversions and help you grow your business through your website.